Hello, welcome. I'm Cheryl. This is Your Journey Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me today. Whatever brought you here, I'm glad you're here. Uh, we're going to spend some time today in that lower back. So for me, I deal with the lower back issues on a regular basis. So these are kind of my go-to exercises and stretches that really help me get back to a place of feeling good and strong and healthy. Um, so be gentle, be kind, um, monitor kind of your breath and how you're feeling and don't push it too, too far. Just let your body come to where it feels like it's ready to come to, okay? So sitting up nice and tall with your legs crossed, doesn't matter which leg is in front and we're gonna reach to the sky Pull those hands through heart center and then slowly walk your hands forward. So we're going to support with those hands and we're just going to lower ourselves down. You're going to start to feel a little pull in your lower back and into those hips. Be mindful if you need to stop. Stop if you need a bolster or a block to rest your forehead against. Please do continue down as far as feels right to you. And we're just letting the body melt. So we're not bouncing, we're not forcing things to happen, we're just letting the weight of your body work with gravity. Making sure you're breathing slow and steady, not holding your breath. If we're holding our breath, that signals to our body to tense up and to guard, to go into that fight or flight mode. As we breathe slow and steady, that sends a message to the body that all is well and it's okay to let down that guard. It's good to get out of that fight or flight mode. Leveling out those cortisol levels, stress hormones, just breathe and exhale the way, letting them go. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands out to the right and reach through your left fingertips as far as you can reach, relaxing the weight of your head. So as we reach through those left fingertips, there's this nice pull down that left side and into that lower back. If ever anything sparks, kind of electrical pulses, tingling, numbness, pain, back off a bit or come out entirely. Don't judge, don't criticize. That negative energy just fuels that fight or flight. Let's take that left arm up and over, opening the tummy and chest. We can remain up on that right hand, or if your body feels ready, you can come down onto your forearm. Great use of a block here, if you wish. Don't need one, but if you like. And we're gonna roll that left shoulder back, taking your gaze towards the sky. If that's not great on your neck, you can look straight ahead or even down towards your right hand. Just let yourself melt. Now we're going to lift off that elbow if you're on it and kind of lift that left side of the rib cage, creating space between those ribs. And then as you exhale, release your tummy and chest back down to that right thigh, reaching out through those left fingertips, relaxing the weight of your head. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands forward. And again, coming back through center, slowly release it down. Already feeling a little bit of a release in that lower back. So for me, this is kind of a magic remedy for my lower back. I hope it serves the same for you. The biggest thing is only going to where your body's ready to go not forcing things, not ignoring the pain or the sensations you're feeling. We lift and take it out to the left. Reach to your right fingertips just as far as you can reach and relax the weight of your head down. So mindfully moving can be better than medicine sometimes. Listening to and honoring what's going on with the body without judgment or criticism. Let's take that right arm up and over, opening the tummy and chest. And again, you can come down onto that forearm only if it feels right. Glue that right sit bone to the earth. If you need to stay up on your hand, stay up on your hand. And then take that gaze up towards the sky if that's okay on your neck. Otherwise, straight ahead or down towards your left hand. Whatever feels the best to you. 
and breathe. So moving in all different directions, front, back, side, side, twisting, arching, extending. It's all part of keeping that back happy and healthy. Now come up off of that elbow if you're on it and get a little push with that left hand. Lift the right side of the rib cage, space between those ribs. And then as you exhale, release your tummy and chest back down towards your thigh. So if ever your lower back is bothering you, oh gosh, it can be debilitating. It can be so frustrating. So just be kind, be gentle, take the time you need. Make sure you're not overdoing, making sure anytime you do any kind of work that that core is engaged. And we lift, walk it back through to center. And relax the weight of the upper body down already, feeling such a big difference. I hope you are too. Let's open those arms out to a T. Come up to the pads of the fingers. And as you exhale, press the pads of the fingers into the earth as you lift your spine, tucking your chin. Space between those shoulder blades. Space between each vertebra. And then gently release it back down. Sweep those hands back by your hips. Big circle of those arms up and overhead. And exhale, pull those elbows back and down. Spread your fingers wide. Intensity and purpose. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Inhale, reach. Get in that whole back and pull. And release. And let's switch. Other leg is in front. And I want you to notice right away, how do those hips feel in this position? It might feel a little bit awkward. It's okay. We're going to work out those imbalances and correct them as best we can. Walking those hands forward. We sink in. And we come right back down to where we were. Now notice if there's anything going on. Do you feel a specific side in that lower back or in the hip? You can walk those hands out further if you like. Or if you're like, wow, that doesn't feel great, pull those arms back in. Big, full, deep breaths. Inhale, lift just slightly. Walk your hands to the left. Reach to your right fingertips. And again, we're checking in every step of the way. Right arm circles up and over. And again, you can come down onto that forearm or remain up on your hand. It might feel different on this side. So depending upon what leg is in front, yeah, you'll notice the difference. Rolling that right shoulder back. Let's lift off of that elbow if you're on it and give a little press into the floor as you lift that right side of the rib cage. As you exhale, release your tummy and chest back down towards your thigh. And we walk it back through center, extending those arms out as far as feels okay to you. Each step of the way, checking in. What do you notice? What do you feel? Inhale, lift just slightly. Walk those hands out to the right, reaching through your left fingertips just as far as you can reach. Let's take that left arm up and over, opening the tummy and chest. Again, you can come down onto your forearm or remain up on the hand, rolling that left shoulder back. Gosh, that feels so good. So just glue those sit bones down and feel that amazing stretch all the way up that left side. We come up off of that elbow if you're on it. Give a little push with that right hand. Lift the left side of the rib cage, space between each of those ribs. And exhale, release the tummy and chest back down towards your thigh. You might hear some pops and cracks along the way. Just make sure that there's no pain involved. Inhale, lift, and walk it back through center. My body is the snap, crackle, pop central of North America. <laughs> it's all good, though. Just the body realigning, working out kinks, finding that space where we are most effective, strongest, and healthy. Let's open those arms out to a T, coming up to the pads of the fingers. Spread your fingers wide, and as you exhale, hollow the tummy and chest, lift your spine, tuck your chin. And 
And gently release it down, circling the hands back by your hips. Big circle of those arms up and overhead. And release your arms down by your sides. So nice. Let's come up onto all fours. For a little cat and cow. Hands are shoulder width apart. Knees are hip width. Core is nice and strong. Take a big breath in, lowering your belly towards the ground. Lift your gaze and sit bones to the sky. Now on the days where my back is really bothering me, this one can be quite challenging. So listen to your body. If it's not too big, don't go that far. And then as you exhale, hollow the tummy and chest. Always feels a little better to me when my back is feeling not so fabulous. Cat, uh, really tuck in the pelvis. As you inhale, lowering the belly. Be mindful of that arch. Only as deep as feels good to you. We're working to articulate those vertebrae one at a time. As you exhale, we come back to cat. And let's do two more of those. Just moving at your pace. Making the motions as big as feel right to you. And maybe it's just staying in tabletop today with that core engaged, that nice flat back. Even just the slightest motion encouraging that articulation of the vertebra. Last cat. And coming back to that neutral spine. Let's sit it back to child's pose. Sit bones back towards your heels, extending those arms out nice and long, and release the weight of the upper body down. Breathe. Slow, steady, deep breaths. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands out to the left, reach to your right fingertips, press your hips to the right, and release the weight of the upper body down. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands back through center, and then over to the right, reaching through your left fingertips, press your hips to the left, and release the weight of the upper body down. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk those hands back through center. Child's pose. Check it in. Extending those arms out nice and long, hands shoulder width apart, spread your fingers wide. Let's lift the forehead, tuck the toes, press and lift your hips to the sky. Down dog. Mm. I love down dog. This beautiful stretch down the backs of the legs. Noticing if the hamstrings are feeling extra tight today, that might be influencing your lower back. If it's too much, bend those knees. Just give a little push of those heels towards the mat. If it's too intense for the hamstrings, focus on the calves. If it feels good to you, yeah, go ahead and start to extend those legs a little more. We're going to get those heels towards your mat. We're going to do three as we flow from our inhaling to our high plank. And then exhaling back to our down dog. So just three, so two more. Using that full breath to find the top of your pose. Don't rush things. One more. And exhale it back to down dog. Taking the gaze between your hands and walk your feet in to forward fold. Our forward folds. Yep, they're a pretty intense stretch for the hamstrings and the calves. And again, checking in. If those hamstrings are feeling exceptionally tight today, that might be why your lower back is feeling a little more tight. Breathe into it. Let that upper body be heavy. A soft bend in your knees so you're not feeling pressure behind those knees. Just that beautiful long stretch. A little shift of your weight forward and back. Toes to heels. Heels to toes. And we come back to center. Shift your weight to your heels and then slowly bend your knees. 
lowering your bum down as far as you can. And then as you exhale, extend those legs back to forward fold. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale, slowly bend, lowering down. And as you exhale, extend. One more time. Inhale, bend. Can you lift those toes, keeping the weight in the heels? And last extension, back to that forward fold. Bring the hands to the elbows and sway side to side. How are we doing? Checking in. Coming back to center. Release your arms. And once again, lower yourself down. At the place that's right for you, find a safe way to come down onto your bottom. And extend those legs out nice and long. Let's cross that right foot up and over the left. We wrap the crook of that left elbow around the knee and pull it in nice and tight. Sit up tall. Breathe. Just holding on to that left hand, lengthening through the spine. Maybe turn and take your gaze out over that right shoulder. Really focusing on staying up nice and tall and this beautiful outer hip stretch. And as you rotate, mm, flexibility in that spine, working that thoracic and lower back. If you like, place that right hand behind you, left hand to the top of the knee. Press against the knee for a deeper rotation. Make sure you're getting that length in the spine, creating space between those vertebrae as we rotate. And find that breath. Easy to hold your breath when we're twisting. As you exhale, slowly release. Extend right leg out, flex your feet, reach to the sky, and exhale, hinge it forward. Tummy down, chest down, hands, and relax the weight of your head. Hmm. Everything's feeling better. I hope it is for you, too. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall and release those arms down by your sides. Let's pull that left foot up, crossing over that right leg, wrapping the crook of that right elbow around the knee. Sit up as tall as you can sit and then rotate, drawing that left knee in. That left hand just holding on to the right. Feel that length in your spine. Maybe turn your gaze out over that left shoulder. What do you feel? What's going on with the body? How about that breath? Are you being nice? Are you being kind and thoughtful? If you like, place that left hand behind you. Use it to prop yourself up. Bringing that right hand, elbow to the top of the left knee and press against that knee. Keeping that length in your spine. There's this real tendency to kind of sit back into that middle back. Lift it. Open that chest. Facilitate your best twist. And slowly release that rotation. Once again, we extend that left leg out. Flex your feet. Reach to the sky. Exhale, lengthen and hinge it forward. Release your hands and relax the weight of your head. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Release your arms down by your sides, however you need to do. Pulling those knees in or keeping those legs long. You can roll it back. However you need to come onto your back, come onto your back. If you like, slowly working one vertebra at a time. Coming down flat on that back. Breathe. Pulling the right knee in towards your chest, hands to your shin, just below that knee, and just gently pull it in. Now you're welcome to bend that left knee if that was pulling on your lower back at all. Otherwise, keep that leg long. Let's release that left arm out to a T. We're going to pull that right knee up and out, kind of up towards the armpit, if you will.
and gently crossing that left knee over the body. Right arm extends out to a T, left hand to the right outside of the right knee, and pull your leg across. Keeping both shoulders against the floor, turn and take your gaze out over that right arm. Just had a really nice pop in that back. Bringing out any last little bit of tension or tightness. I hope you're feeling a whole lot better. The back is a little bit looser, happier. Not quite done. We've still got a little bit of magic left. Releasing that left hand, rolling it back to center. Placing that right foot to the mat, pulling that left knee in, hands to the shin just below the knee. We can keep that right knee bent, or yep, you can extend that leg out long, feeling that nice stretch through the front of that right leg. Breathe. We release that right arm out to a T. Left hand's going to release the intensity. Allow that knee to open out a little bit. And then pull that left knee up and out towards that left armpit. Noticing a really nice stretch across the pelvis. You might notice through those obliques. And we draw that left knee back in. Left arm extends out to a T as that left knee crosses the body, right hand to the outside of the left knee and just gently guide it across. Uh, twisting, we turn and take our gaze out over that left arm. And just relax. So some days it's all about maintenance and self-care. And then some days when we feel great, the body feels really strong and healthy, we challenge ourselves with strength, with flexibility, with harder moves, harder positions, harder postures, maybe adding weights in. But if today is one of those days where it's maintenance and self-care, mm, I appreciate you stopping by here. I hope that this has completely helped. And I hope you're feeling a whole lot better. Releasing that right hand, slowly we roll it back to center, placing that left foot to the mat, pulling that right foot in, feet are hip-width apart, hands come down by your sides, palms to the mat. We tuck the pelvis so that the small of the back presses into the mat and we press through our heels to lift those hips towards the sky. We're working our way up to bridge pose. Vertebra, one vertebra at a time, lifting off of that mat. We squeeze the buns at the top. And breathe. Holding that breath, engaging those glutes, those hamstrings. And then ever so slowly, one vertebra at a time, coming back to the mat, helping to realign that spine, strengthen the core, strengthen the hamstrings and glutes, till your bottom is the very last to touch. Let's heel toe those feet out once, toes turn inward, knees gent gently touch. Resting the hands on the hips or down by your sides. Just find a comfortable place. And we take just a moment to honor our body. to honor the journey that we're on as it is your journey. It is your time creating the very best version of yourself that you can each and every day. Each day a fresh start to have an impact on this world. the people's lives you touch each and every day. When we're hurting, when we're in pain, sometimes it makes it pretty hard to have positive energy to share with the world. So be sure you're taking time to take that self-care, to do that maintenance, 
to be present and be kind. Pretty hard to pour from an empty cup. Take time to fill your cup, whatever that means for you. Do something fun, do something good for yourself that brings you peace and joy each and every day. Let's gently heel toe those feet in, roll to one side, and as you're ready, use the strength of your arms to help you come back up. We find a seated position that feels good to you, sitting up nice and tall. Pull the hands to heart center, close your eyes for just a moment, tuck your chin down towards your chest. And just a moment of quiet gratitude. Honoring your body as it is today. Allowing it to be strong and healthy. Inhale, lift your gaze, open those eyes, and just a huge thank you for joining me today. I hope you feel fantastic. I hope your lower back is feeling so much better, and I hope it just carries you through the rest of your day and beyond. Take care of yourself. Be well. And until the next time, namaste.